All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and add in the elements that will be the clickable part of your interactive PowerPoint. So I am gonna go with, from the graphic organizer, um, I'm gonna go with Zodiac sign. So there are a couple ways you can do this. You can add in like buttons. So if you wanna add in a button, you can go to insert, um, shape, and then for mine, you can do any shape you want. I'm just going to use a rectangular shape with these soft edges. And then for my text, I would just type in like zodiac sign. Then, of course, you would need to format that. So click it, um, and you would go to shape format, and then that's when you can change your colors, change the font, change the size, add a border, blah, 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 blah. Make it look good. So if you choose that method, um, once you get it formatted how you want it with your colors and your text and all that, all you have to do is click it, control C to copy it, control V, paste it, and then re, uh, change your text. So maybe my next one would be birth time. And then you could copy and paste it again. So in the end, you would have five different clickable boxes. Don't worry necessarily about the placement of them yet because I'll explain that to you in a second. For now, just get those in there. Or your second option is to do graphics. So if you want to do graphics, then I would recommend going to Google, search up, let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Let's search up zodiac sign. If you want either your personal zodiac sign, so I'm a Leo, so maybe I'm going to just type in Leo zodiac sign and see what comes up. Use it. Ooh, this one's kind of a good one. All right, so maybe I want to use this one. So I am going to right click. I think you can just hit copy image. Let's try this. Copy image, get on your slide and paste. Oh, and it's not working. Okay, I finally went in, so I just had to resize it. Be careful though, because if you do images, remember your images have to align with one another. So you can't have like some realistic pictures and some clip art. So it might be a good idea just to kind of get the same ones um, to choose clip art, which I just went to tools, click that. Then I went to right here, it says, oh uh, shoot, sorry, type. And you can select clip art there. And then if you do that for all of them, then that's probably a good idea. That way you will have all clip art images. Okay, so go ahead now and add in all of your elements. At the end, you will have five because it's the same five that you chose from your graphic organizer. So pause me now and do that. Okay, so now that you have your clickable elements in there, whether it be images or just your buttons that you made, now you need to organize them into a way that makes sense and looks aesthetically pleasing on your slide. So for mine, I'm thinking I just want them to go straight across the slide from left to right. So I am going to kind of just drag them about where I want them. Now, don't forget um, your alignment option. So I'm going to align them to each other into the slide. So selecting, I'm going to hold down shift. I'm holding shift and clicking them all. So then in the picture format tab, this is your alignment option. So I am going to align the selected objects, which are all these that I have selected. I want to distribute them evenly horizontally, which means that they'll have the same amount of space in between them. So I'm gonna hit distribute horizontally. You can watch them jump. And then now I am going, I want them in the center of my slide. So this time I'm gonna hit align to slide. And I'm going to go back up and hit align. I'm sorry, not center because that's horizontal. I want to align them in the middle of the slide. Uh, that's a little too high for me. So I actually think I am going to group them. And then I'm going to drag them down a little bit and just kind of eyeball it. Okay. And then, as always, once you get them how you want them, don't forget to save. I'm going to control S it to save. And now we are ready to start adding in the links. 